Today, I would like to talk to you about the Suella, a dry red blend. This is a 2017 vintage and today marks, to date marks three year, a three year vintage. The Suella um, dry red blend, that's the first within the range. This is a blend that was made out of carefully selected grapes from the Stellenbosch region. Preferably, um, you know, that decision was done based on the terroir. And each of the grapes that are involved or were selected for the processing or the manufacturing or the winemaking process or the blending of the specific wine was chosen due to its predominant um, you know, um, flavors, aromas and contribution to the structure and the overall quality of the final blend of the Cirela 2017. Think about a red fruit when you are drinking a glass of Cirela. This is a wine that was made, well, that was fermented in stainless tanks still, and the fermentation process was done, well, was carried out for 14 days with each grape or each individual wine within the blend, crushed, fermented, processed separately, and then once the grapes were done for the alcoholic fermentation or the juice was completed with regards to the alcoholic fermentation, it was stabilized and each wine was added together to make the blend of the Cirela, a dry red 2017. Think about what each grape brings to the table. Take a scenario whereby you know you have a team of um, a group of people and each and every one of them actually comes to the table to the party with a skill that is rare and that is very important to the project that you're carrying out it's the same concept or the same idea that came about the production of the Cirela dry red blend if you love a good wine you definitely love a good um, a red blend from the Cirela collection and with a Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon adds um, to the wine, you know, the prominent black currant aromas and flavors. The Sangiovese that was added adds a good acidity and a good tannin structure to the wine. And a mellow, which obviously always goes very well with a Cabernet Sauvignon, typical for a Cape blend, contributes to wine, you know, a great velvety structure and fruit. Therefore, you know, we get, um, we have also the pinotage in the wine, which we could have never, um, you know, lost on that because cap, uh, pinotage is, it's, it's the South African heritage grape. It was um, discovered in South Africa and it carries that heritage that, you know, South African wines have and we couldn't have let that go away. So we had to add it into the, the blend. And then we also have, um, you know, a Malbec which gives to the wine not just fruitiness, but it also gives the wine a good color. So you can see that each and every grape that was included in the blend was strictly and was just, we, it was out of focus in terms of what we wanted to produce. And finally, we managed to pr produce an easy drinking, you know, fruit forward a red wine, which is, you know, it's got like very soft, opened up tannins and, you know, um, unnoticeable acidity. This is a good wine to drink when you are just on your you know enjoying yourself at home you know hosting a few friends over or over a braai or you want to you know impress um clients or you want to impress um you know family and friends it's really just a great wine to go for especially when you don't know what other people would prefer simply because we have a bit of everything good in it so you know um there are people who are just not so um interested or just so fond of you know tannic wines and this wine just has proven to give a good of everything about each grape that we just described and each grape that is actually used to make this specific wine and if you were um you know to want to enjoy it with food i would recommend something that is of red meat dishes you know your lamp dishes lamp stew um or you can actually enjoy it with you know african cuisine I love the whole idea of pairing my wine specifically with African cuisine and you can enjoy it with an oxtail dish you know that you prefer you prepare at home or in a restaurant or whatsoever and you can actually just enjoy a good glass of suela on its own the freshness the fruitiness was retained by fermenting it in a stainless steel tank and that is how we produced a good bottle of the Cirela um, Dry Red 2017 Vintage. I would love to share 
with you a glass of my dry weight blend, the Suella Dry Weight Blend 2017, while I still have um, within the collection. So this bottle goes for about 96 rands, which is pretty much affordable. Um, and you can get a box for uh, 576. Um, that also includes shipping anywhere in South Africa. Um, obviously post the lockdown regulation or however once the lockdown regulations permit and if you want to get a hold of a bottle of Suela it's easy all you have to do is visit our website www.suelawines.co.za you'd see we have a lot of offers going on there you can dm us on all social media platforms at Suela Wines you can contact me on WhatsApp 0605291486. You can also email us at info at and until then, cheers.